You are not going to like what she has picked out. <laughs> What's up? Where were you last night? I told you. Tell me again. I was here. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm absolutely positive. What's going on? So you work with Chaz? In her bed, for instance! Oh! You're not even gonna deny it! I swear, there's, no, there's nothing going on between us. You have to believe me, it's, it's nothing. So this is just a lie, is it? And this, and this, and this, and this! Why are you doing this? You can't actually think... Mrs think... King, please. Nico, don't. Dad, tell him. He didn't do anything on purpose. On purpose? Care to elaborate? Nicola, leave it now. I'm coming with you. No! Yes! Dad, can you stay with Angel? Look, you're better off here. I called Jimmy's solicitor. But don't say anything until she gets there. Jimmy, do you hear me? You'd think he had something to hide. I don't know what it looks like, but it's, it's not. What? Not what it seems. You look gorgeous tonight. Wanted to hold you. Can't wait for Dee to go away. Just us. That was when I took Sarah to Paris, when you insisted that Andy go, when I thought you were doing it for Sarah and all the time. Dad was right. All that crap. You gave him about being on your back for not going to Jersey. You were with her. You planned it. Do you really hate me that much? I hate you. I love you. <laughs> All right, I should go and see Baby Jack. No, it's really not a good time, mate. I you OK? I'm fine. Just go. In fact, no. Take Sarah and Jack with you. What? Andy, just do it. They don't need to hear this. They've only gone and arrested Jimmy. I mean, I know there was bad blood between them, but Jimmy? He's no killer. And here's me thinking you might actually care. Diane, please, I really don't want to get into this. You used to love Carl once, didn't you? Don't you feel anything? I wish he wasn't dead, OK? What has happened to you? Please, Diane, you have no idea what I'm going through. Because you won't tell me! Oh, never mind. I'm sick of begging for answers. I don't know who you are anymore. What do you mean you can't tell me? I'm his wife. I need to know. Nicola, you're just making things worse. What if he says something stupid about what he did? Yeah, but what he might have done. I, I was wondering if I might have a word with Mr. James. I'll get in the queue then. He's uh, not in. I'm sorry. Like she doesn't know that already. Which why you're here, isn't it? For the gossip? No. I just wanted to speak you to Mr. James. Yeah, I heard. Well, you'll have to wait till the police are finished with him, then, won't you? He's, uh, he's been arrested. Oh no. Oh, I am so sorry. Why? It's not like it's your fault, is it? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. Not entirely. I couldn't lie. What do you mean? The police interviewed me earlier about Carl and Jimmy, and I had to tell them. Tell them what? Spit it out? About how awful it has been lately between them. Couldn't help yourself. Had to take the moral high ground. Well, nice one. Thanks a lot. I tell you what, you can come in and tell Angel that her dad's been dragged off by the police. No? I didn't think so. That's enough. It doesn't even come close to enough. Look, this, this isn't your fault, and Nicola knows it. You did the right thing. You admitted you fought. For the tape, please. Yes. Then what? 
went for a walk to clear my head. Mm -hmm. Well, so you say, where to? Around. I wasn't thinking straight. Oh, no wonder after that fight. Vicious from what we've heard. I left Carl by the shop, alive. Then I just wandered about. How long for? One hour? Two, maybe? I don't know. Ask Nicola. She told you that she saw me. She's told us a lot of things. We just want to hear it from you, for the record. What did you do after you saw her? I kept walking. And did anyone see you on this little walk? No. Why did he go to the garage? Was he looking for help? Why? You tell us. I didn't see him again. Why won't you believe me? I don't even know how he died. They won't tell me anything. We're still waiting on the official cause, but come on, Mr. King. You already know how your brother died, don't you? Was it me? Was it because I hit him? Like I said, you tell us. When Sarah was in hospital, when I thought she was going to die, I needed you more than anybody else in the world, and you were with her. <laughs> and I hate myself for it. And last night when I was having Jack? I told you I was here. I wasn't with her. Well, I don't believe anything you say. When did it start? Before Paris, when we fell out and you stayed at the pub. You took a job from her and I was grateful! Give you everything I couldn't, did she? Uncomplicated sex. No dying kid to deal with. <laughs> I, I needed an escape, OK? Somewhere to forget that you were carrying another man's child. Here it comes! <laughs> it's my fault. I brought it on myself. No. I sleep with Andy to save Sarah and you sleep with Chance to get your own That back. is not what I'm saying! My auntie. My best mate. We didn't plan it. No, you didn't say no either, did you? Why couldn't you have just said no? Make you feel like a man did it, all that sneaking about the hammer back. You better tell me you didn't bring her here. Of course I didn't bring her here. What did you take me for? You really asking me that right this now? It wasn't about revenge, OK? I understand why you did what you did. Any parent would have done the same. But you had to teach me a lesson. Well, that showed me. <sighs> you get away from me. Get away from me! You and Carl were equal shareholders in your haulage business. Yes. Does it really matter now? The rest is owned by uh, Charity Sharma. Hmm. She had a lot to say about your and Carl's recent relationship. Speculation. Unless she's a qualified psychiatrist. Oh. She mentioned a growing tension between you and Carl. Is that a fair comment? Only because she was playing us off against each other. Well, it worked, didn't it? Carl was going to sell behind your back. You see, I see it all the time. People push to the edge by circumstance. You were angry in a blind rage. We'd already evicted you from your home. This was the final straw. You had to protect your family. Carl is... was my family. He was my brother and I loved him. I just wanted him to snap out of the mood he was in. Stop playing games and see what was really important. And when he didn't, you bided your time, waited till you could get him on his own, and then finished what you started. No. You saw him by the garage, picked up whatever you could find and hit him. No! I picked up what? What did you say? I was saying that your brother wound up dead with his head caved in and we're asking you what happened. He was hit with something. With a weapon. It wasn't me. Do you see? I didn't kill him. Oh, my God! What's he doing here? Debbie asked me to have him. I got the impression her and Cameron having an argument, so... Oh, I've been dying to see him. He's so cute. 
Can I hold him? Yeah. There you go. Hello, you. I'm your new auntie. He's so gorgeous. He is, isn't he? Very, very special. I'm so glad that... So am I. When will they do the transplant? Soon, I hope. And he's perfect. I know we had to have him for Sarah, but... I always knew I'd love him. How are you anyway? Finding Cal must have been... I just... I don't want to think about it. But you're all right, though. I am now. I've seen him. I know this is messed up. OK, I've made a mistake. Beyond massive mistake. Chaz... Chaz doesn't matter to me, OK? It's you. It's you I want. Well, Chaz... Obviously doesn't think so. Otherwise, why would she send all of these? And I take it the mobile number was just for you, very organised. It wasn't like that. Then what was it like? It wasn't like us. It was nowhere near. I only want you. Yeah, now you do. Now I know. Now it's too late. When I proposed to you, it wasn't out of guilt or duty or pity. It's because I love you and Jack and Sarah, and if you give me one last chance, I swear, I swear, I will spend the rest of my life proving it to you. Did you love her? <laughs> Do you love her? I love you. Well, I don't love you. Not anymore. Get out. I said no. get out! Until I get in that flaming garage. You're going somewhere? Debs? Dad, just let him go, please. What's he done? If he has hurt you, oh, I'll. That's enough, Kern. Can't you see she's so upset? Okay, so why is Cameron legging it up the street? That's what we're trying to find out. Debs? Babe, what's happened? What's he done? We argued. I'm not denying that. But when I left him, he was alive. And outside the shop, not in the garage. Well, then prove it. Give us something to go on. I didn't lie in wait. I didn't go back to finish the job. And I didn't use any weapon. It, it, it wasn't me. Well, we only have your word for that. Why aren't you listening? You, you're clutching at straws. Not the first questionable death in your family, is it? I didn't kill him. Are you really too stupid to see that? It's a nasty temper you've got there, Mr King. I can see how it might get out of hand. Can I do this? Can I just keep going over the same thing again and again? I've told them everything I know. Ah, now, you see, that is where we differ. In the circumstances, I think my client has been more than accommodating. <laughs> And I think he knows more than he's letting on. Then I suggest you charge him. Either that, or let him go. You've got a visitor. You don't have to show him in. He worked here long enough. I think he can find his own way. Not anymore, he can't. I just need a quick word. It's important. Is the baby all right? Has something happened? It's fine. It's between me and Chaz. Is that so? Well, is somebody going to tell him, please? Five minutes. She knows. What? Debbie knows. Why are they taking so long? For all I know, they could have charged him and banged him up. Then the solicitor would have told us. Oh, well, that's reassuring then. I should have gone with him. You saw it stayed with Jimmy? Jimmy, what happened? What did they say? Oh, Nico, please. I've had nothing but questions. But they haven't charged you. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? Did you tell them that you were confused? You were wound up, but this isn't your fault. It wasn't me. Yeah, I know, Jimmy. You weren't yourself. No, I mean, it wasn't me. It couldn't have been me, the injuries Carl had. But you said... That was before I knew how he died. 
I only used my fists. Somebody else used something much worse. How? How did she get them? Well, Carl must have sent them. No, no, I don't get it. I really don't get it. It doesn't matter now, does it? OK, Debbie knows. She knows. She's in bits. Kane and Charity are with her right now. Oh, God. Now's not the time to panic. We've got to keep it together. We've got to... We've got to think straight. Well, what are we going to do? I don't think we've got much choice. We've got to run. Debbie's still not answering. He's going to need a feed soon. He's so good. Isn't he? All he does is sleeps. Does you? You've only just woke up sleep yet. I won't be when Jack's magic potion makes me all better. Daddy's told me about that. He's a proper little brother hero. I think I should go around. He's fine. Stop worrying. Why were Mummy and Cameron shouting? I don't know, darling. Why? What did you hear? Andy, it's none of our business. Well, it is if it affects my kids. What? He sounded just like Dad. I wish he was here to see this little one. Do you think he'd understand why we had him? Of course he would. It's a no-brainer. Sarah gets what she needs and we get another Jack Sugden. I just hope he doesn't grow up as tight as the last one. Thank you. It's just a coffee. No, I mean... Thank you for standing by me. Even when you thought I may have... You didn't. And that's all that matters. Can't say what a relief it is. Won't bring Carl back, though, will it? And the police think I did it. But they've got to prove it now. You've got nothing to hide. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Bring it on. Jimmy. Jimmy, what? Calm down. Carl is still dead. Hey, you're grieving. You're bound to be confused and upset. Only Carl could do this to me. Get himself killed and leave me to take the blame. I just don't. Look. He's going through hell. And I'm not. We'll come through this. I promise. Will we? We haven't got time to think. We've just got to go now. I can't believe this. You're actually trying to turn this nightmare into what? A chance for us to be together? I know, it's a mess. A mess! Debbie knows! Carl is dead, Cameron. All the more reason for us to stick together. No! Nothing's going to change what's happened. We've just got to learn to live with it somehow. Yeah, by staying as far away from each other as possible. When Kate comes looking for us, what then? Because she will tell him. She hates you just as much as she hates me, so go and grab a bag and let's go. I can't. Why not? Don't you know? Babe, what has he done? I knew he was up to something. Obviously. I should have grabbed him when I had the chance. Yeah, well, you ranting about isn't going to help us find if out. He has laid a finger on her. Dare. So what is it? Does it matter? It's over. That's it. I don't ever want to see him again. Well, that's absolutely fine, but just tell us why. I don't have time for this. I'm going to get... No! Me. You're not going anywhere in this state. The kids are fine with Andy. What has Cameron done? Whatever it is, I'm going to rip his head off. That ain't going to help anybody, is it? Have you seen the state of her? She's not like this for nothing, is she? Please, Debs, just tell us we want to help. Is it someone else? Oh, babe, no. Who is she? Do we know her? See for yourself. You saw me, didn't you? Running away. I had to get away. He wouldn't take no for an answer. I had to stop him. He tried to force himself on me. I tried to fight him off, but he was too strong. So I picked something up off the floor. I think it was a brick. And I hit him. I hit him so hard and then I just ran. But you saw me. I know you did. Because you shouted at me. Yeah, I saw you. So then... You...
says what? You know I killed Carl. I killed Carl. <sighs> I'm gonna kill him. How? How could she do this to you? Does it matter? She did. After everything you've been through. She's supposed to be your best mate. And she's been doing it right under our noses all this time. Deb's when? Look, leave the last piece. She, she's not up to this grilling. Yeah, we're asking the wrong person. I'm gonna go around there and have out with her. Look, and do what? Whatever it takes. You should understand that. I bet that's where he was running off to. I bet he'll be with her now. Get out of my way. Look, this is not the answer. No way are we letting him get away with this! Get out of my way. What about Debbie and Sarah? The last thing they need is you banged I up. said, get out of my way. Dad! Don't do this! After what they've done to you! I don't care, it's over! No way is this over. Once I've finished, they're gonna be lying next to Carl. Jess, Jess, listen to me. You didn't do this. I did, I just told you it was no, me. No, no, no. <laughs> Did anyone see you? I don't know. And you didn't go back to the garage? I just licked it. I... Okay, okay. Hey, do you know what? I can sort this. I just killed a man. How can you sort anything? We know that as long as it stays that way, we'll be fine. What about Jimmy? He's innocent. He'll be, he'll be okay. They've arrested him, and I'm the real culprit. Yeah, listen, listen, we we got to hold it together, okay? Any minute now, your family's going to be kicking down that door. I'm surprised they're not here already. Right, exactly. We need space, okay? We've got to go somewhere. I've got mates that can put us up, and they want to find us. No, I am not running away. Stop going on about it. Jimmy? Uh, what are you doing here? Fancied some air. You should have told Nicola you were going home. She's your wife. How do you think she feels when you just rush out like that? Not thinking about doing anything stupid, are you? No, I suppose not. Not much of a drop, is it? <laughs> It helps to talk, you know. Really? Will talking to you help keep me out of prison? No. But nor will bottling it up. I'm not bottling it up. I just... I needed some space. This is difficult for Nicola, too, you know. Her brother-in-law dies, her husband gets arrested for his murder, and then he walks out on her. Fine. I'll go home and pretend everything's hunky-dory. If it keeps you off my back. And uh, two whiskey chasers, thanks. Yeah, I'm not good with whiskey. I'll drink it. His need is greater. So many men this is. Dan! Oh, my heart goes out to you. It really does. Can't believe all this is happened. I've only been gone two nights. See, so Chaz is keeping a low profile. Isn't that what you want? Does he look like a man who knows what he wants? So have they charged Jimmy yet, or what? Well, I doubt it. I saw him earlier. They've let him out. What, and I suppose you think hanging's too good for him? I most certainly do not. Why would you say such a thing? I should go and see how he is. Edna, Edna, I I'm not sure he'll be in the mood for house calls. Oh. Oh, yeah, I don't want to make it any worse. How can you make it any worse? Oh, yeah. Get her another pot and lemon and mine's a spritzer. Angel wants you to play a game with her. You need to be nice to her, Jimmy. She doesn't understand any of this. Do you think I do? Carl would still be here if he hadn't messed everybody about. You don't know that. Oh, come on, Nicola. This wasn't an accident. Somebody wanted him dead. Hey, not so loud. <sighs> this is what happens when you're only interested in yourself. Yeah, but he didn't deserve to die. Have you found Scarlett? Not yet. Do you want me to do it? She's my sister, not yours. I'm just trying to help. And we're going to need to start planning the funeral. <laughs> I probably won't even be there. Of course you will. Not if I'm locked in a cell. You didn't kill Carl. That's why they let you go. I'm still on bail. The police haven't arrested anybody else. They can knock on that door at any minute. You have to stop thinking like this. How? Zach, I just want to talk to her. No, you don't. You want to kick her head in. And I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. Really? 
try telling him that. Oh, no, there's no need for that. Yeah, there is. Violet's never sold anything. Did he? Do you know what, Uncle Zach? I think you're going soft. Trying to stop my family from killing each other? It's soft, is it? Have you two learned nothing? Look, I'm not shifting. We're all going to stop here till we calm down. I'm not. Debbie, you've just had a baby. I'll go with you. Me too. No! I want to do this on my own. Oh, that's not a good idea. Grandad! Get out of my way. Oh, I said I will sort this. Please, please. Deb, this isn't about. Me. I don't give a damn about Cameron. Yeah, well, neither do I. Can you please stop drawing attention to You're yourself? You're the one doing that. I want to hear what she's got to say. You're in no fit state to pick a fight. She picked this, not me, Grandad. Well, if you are going, we're coming with you. Whatever, if you must. Kate, please, please, not that. You know what? I ain't got time for this. Give it to him. Debbie, love, how are you doing? Chance. Why? Everything's under control. Is she here or not? She's hiding in the back room. Can't have better look at her. Thank you. Oh, you're not putting back there. He's with her, isn't he? Who? Cameron! Oh, Diane, seriously, you don't want to mess with us today. I don't want any trouble. Then let us past. No, not until I know what's going on. Jazz, listen to me. We can't hang around here. I'm going nowhere. No, no, right. If you stay, you'll either end up in jail or beaten to a pulp by your family, and I'm not going to let that happen. Running is the coward's way out. No, no, no. It's your only choice. It isn't, though, is it? You're really testing me patience. Oh, I'm sorry to behave yourself. Oh, God. Right, we go. Now. Now. I just need to talk to her. Yeah, and the rest. What rest? Back off, pal. What do you want with me, wife? We want to know why she's been having it off with Debbie's boyfriend, all right? Carl's not Debbie's boyfriend. No, not Carl, you idiot. Cameron! She's on him and all. Why don't you just tell the whole world, Mum? I'm sorry. She puts herself about. I need to see her. You? You've known her for five minutes. Are you going to let me pass? Diane, let us through. Dad, I've got this. I need an explanation. Not like this, though. You should be at home looking after the Please. baby. Not you. I'm her husband. I've got rights. Oh. Back off. Zach! <laughs> I'll make sure they behave themselves, I promise. Upstairs, gotta be. Oh, oh babe, you're right. No, just stop bussing me. Maybe she's tired. No, she just had a nap. Too cold. No, she's not. Or too hot then. Oh, please, will you just stop trying to be useful? There's got to be a reason why she's crying. Oh, well, maybe she's just realised what a pain in the bum her dad is. What's that? Nothing. Oh. All right. Have you settled her down, yeah? Not quite. Well, help is at hand. Yes, look who we found outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we weren't expecting you so soon. Weren't you? Oh, this must be my. Beautiful granddaughter. Oh. You were supposed to call and put her off. Yeah, well, I didn't have the heart, did I? No sign of him. Looks like they've done a runner. You what? Diane's keys are gone. Ken! I'm sorry, okay? I thought you had hold where of them. Where are you? It's all right, I got him. I got him. I got him. Go! Move out of the way! Move out of the way! I'm serious! Yes! Yeah, so am I! They're not here. What was that? I think you might be needed. I thought you said you had things under control! <sighs> Stop it! Diane! Go back inside! This has got nothing to do with you! I'm calling the police! Alex, do one now! <laughs> no! You're going nowhere. Do more than that. She cheated. Me? You're the one who pretended you didn't have Mr. Bun the baker. I'm Pooley. When's Mummy picking me up? Later. I'll play you now, so go on. I'll set it up. All right, what do you want? Just come to see Vic. All right, really? Why? I've had a very traumatic few days, in case you hadn't noticed. Yeah, I'm sorry. Keep your eye on Jack. You took your time. I haven't seen you since 
you know, just keep seeing him lying there all dead. Come in. You want to be clever, are you? I don't know, that's you. Well, you do now. Right. Now, let Debbie speak. Come on. Why have you been sleeping with my fiancé? I never meant to hurt you, Debbie. You liar! <gasps> I deserve that. No. We decide what you deserve Answer now. Answer the question. I don't know. That is not an answer! Get out, baby! You all right? Don't touch it. So you all right? I'm fine! Well, you're obviously not, are you? Now look what you've done. I'm sorry! Yeah, well, you will be. Look, now, stop it! This young girl has just had a baby. Now, we're all going to back off and let her say a piece, OK? OK? OK. Fine. Do you love him? Debs, he loves you. And I understand that. Because I love you. You are somebody that I can rely on, someone who's always there for me. Or so I thought. <laughs> You're gorgeous, aren't you? Yes, you are. How did your mummy manage to produce such a beautiful little girl? She doesn't know you're listening. And that makes it OK, does it? I'll have a word with her. No, you are not interfering. There's enough tension as it is. Ivor, I've managed to get her off. She just needed a bit of tender loving care. Nickel was exactly the same. Well, I could have settled her myself. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I've just waited so long for a grandchild. Um, you've already got one. Have I? Noah? Oh, no, I mean a proper one, my own flesh and blood. Right, I'm going to go upstairs and get unpacked. Uh, you stopping here? Well, where else would I stay? Jez? I'm here to be with you, not my ex-husband. We're not actually divorced. Not yet. Nikhil. Mm. Right, two days and I'm putting my foot down. Good for you. <sighs> Soon it'll be you holding a newborn baby. <laughs> the same, though. Well, if you will sleep with your cleaner. Me and him were over months ago. And then Carl found out. Carl, what's Carl got to do with it? He was blackmailing us. What are you talking about? It's true. He wanted to pay it back for everything that we'd done to him. Don't you dare try and drag me into this. Debbie, we had to rob from this place to pay him, and still he sent you them texts. Oh, hold on. So you're saying all this is Carl's fault? No, I'm not. But me and Cameron weren't even talking to each other until he started interfering. Oh, yeah, that's right. Putting it on a dead man. That's true. Who asked you? He loves you. He always has. I promise you, we were over ages ago. So then why did we have to drag you out of that car? What you were wrong about? You were running away together, Charles. There are reasons for that. What reasons? You really don't want to know. Isn't it obvious? They can't keep their hands off each other. You're loving this, aren't you? You've been doing my head in for the last year. It's no wonder I strayed. What, are you blaming me for this? The interest you take in your daughter's sex life is... It's unhealthy, mate. Kate! Kate! Oh, Kate! Get, 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 get off him! Get off him! I finish with him! Yes, you are! Get off! Calm down. I haven't. You and me. We haven't even started. Yeah. Me too. Well, I'll let you know when the funeral is. Love you. How will she? What'd she expect? I haven't even told her I'm the prime suspect yet. The police will have caught the real killer by the time she gets here. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Will you stop trying to be nice? You don't know anything. Fine, I'll get out of your way. There's no point in both of us neglecting our daughter. Nico! I need to check on Angel. 
You're not the only one who's suffering, you know. Have you had a brother killed recently? Please don't push away the people who love you. Nicola and Angel need you just as much as you need them. I won't be much use to either of them in prison. That isn't going to happen. So you both keep saying, but let's be honest, man to man, the police have got nobody else to pin this on. If the worst comes to the worst, you will look after my two girls, won't you? Oh, let's not think like that. Promise me. Please. Of course I will. Really, mate? Everything's under control now. Only because we're here. Well, you know what families are like. Huh? We love each other, really. Funny way of showing it. He was attacking you. It's no big deal. It will be, cos this ain't over. How do I put this right? Him dead'll do me. Yeah, your mouth can. Enough! I'm, I'm arresting you to prevent a breach of the peace! Well, you don't have to do that. He's nothing. He's harmless. Is he? Really? Is this harmless? Right, you're under arrest and all! What? Get off! So, what happens now? To bury him, I suppose. Nah, I didn't, I didn't mean Carl. I meant us. But I didn't know there wasn't us. Uh, you know, the other night, if we didn't find the body... I didn't. It was just a drunken snog. Oh! Is that what it was now, was it? I would cop off with anyone if I've had enough cider. <laughs> yeah, well, all the same... I think me and you, we should go for a drink sometime. Why? <sighs> because I like you, I suppose. Are you asking me out? Well, it doesn't have to be anything heavy, not if you don't want it to be. So, what's it going to be? Oh, well, you definitely know how to make a girl feel special. <laughs> well, I could do one of those. Soils things at the farm there. Fine. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No, nothing, Heather. Bad enough she was doing it with Carl. At least he's dead. But Cameron as well. You see, this is why I'm single. Be honest, it's not the only reason. Why have they arrested you? I'm not the only one who's been arrested, Heather. What, you and all, Kane? Is, it, is this to do with Carl's murder? Like I'd waste any time on him. Oh, look, it's the missus. I've loved you with all my heart. Well, you're an idiot, then, cos she'll sleep with anyone, won't you, Chaz? Let me just get one thing straight. You've seen him at the same time as Carl? No. All right, just one at a time, then. Yeah. While you're with me. I meant what I said. I haven't finished with you. Neither have I. We can do without the idle threats. Not idle threats, believe me. I'm gonna go in for questioning, then I'll be back. I wouldn't bank on it the way you're mouthing off. This is all down to you. I know. You actually think I'm going to let you get away with this? I don't want to get away with it. Any of it. Not after what I've done. Done. I can't live with this. It's me that you should be arresting. Why is that? Because... I kill Carl. What? She don't know what she's saying. I do. I need to tell the truth. He attacked me. He was going to rape me. I was terrified. So I fought back. And I killed him. So, have you thought of a name yet? Well, we've got a list. <laughs> There's a surprise. <laughs> we haven't made a final choice yet, though. Well, now's as good a time as any. You can't call her it all her life. We quite like Molly, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, I've always loved it. Are you sure, though? Yeah. It's got a nice ring to it. Excellent. That's decided. Molly it is, then. <laughs> you do know our nan. Well, Mum's mum. She was known as Molly. No, I didn't. Oh, 
Honestly, Nicole, do you tell her anything? A word of advice. When it comes to babies, don't expect the men in your life to be any use whatsoever. Nikhil is doing brilliantly. It's like he was born to it. If only I'd married a man like that. She always has to have a dig. Look, don't let her wind you up. You don't mind me being here, do you? Of course not. Only it's good to have another woman around the place for the first few weeks. 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 Can we just go? Not till the cars get here. Oi! He can't help you now. You can't even look at me, can you? I did it for you, kid. What? Carl, I was going to tell you everything. I was just trying to protect you and Sarah and it all just got out of control. No, you were protecting yourself and him! Don't you pretend that you ever cared about me! I never meant for this to happen. You, Charity, all of you, you mean the world to me. <sighs> Uncle Zach. Zach will do. Oh, you mean nothing to us now. I'm trying to make this right. Never gonna happen. <clears throat> Great, let's go. You deserve everything you get, Chaz! I know, I do. Oh, great, that's all I need. Why are they arresting them? Don't tell me you and him. Oh, sure, Michael, we didn't do anything. Matt won't have a word with her, though. What? Jimmy, I'm so, so sorry. What have you done? Tell me! Keep back, sir. 